Hello! Monsters are bound here and welcome back to Total War. Warhammer 3 and the second part of my Kislev campaign where last time we fended off the greenskins but we need to finish them off before they slink back into the mountains and start to replenish their numbers. They do have reinforcements arriving. That is a lot of orc boys. That is too many orc boys. That is way too many. Holy shit, that's a lot of orc boys. And while our brave and stout Kislevite warriors held the line amazingly in the last engagement, they've taken quite the battering and definitely not at full strength yet. So we've hit Azhag with Death Frost to try and whittle him down slightly. So that will do 33 to 67 damage for about 20 seconds, I think. And now we have some Orc Biggins leading the charge, or at least trying to. At a speed of 14, that charge isn't very fast. Oof. They're having a really bad time, aren't they? Good. Just getting absolutely destroyed. At least those biggins have been routed. We have the winged lancers on the flank. Look at that. Already rank 5. I'm not surprised, to be honest. They've been doing amazing work. What a charge! Absolutely just levels that unit. And then the charge bonus lasts double as long, which actually is, is pretty great. Azhag tries to cast Aspect of the Dread Knight on them. Wait, does Azhag... Why does Azhag even have his... Doesn't he get his hat until later? Or does he start with it automatically now? I thought he didn't get it until later. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get the Ice Kitty killed because fuck that guy. Meanwhile, the poor Kislevite warriors on the right flank desperately holding on as uh, a number of orcs throw themselves. Zarina Catherine is getting shot by archers, but she's fine. And the Wing Lancers continuing their rampage, having knocked out one unit. They're now coming down to fight the next. Almost a fresh unit of Orc boys getting absolutely eviscerated by the Winged Lancers. They're taking very little damage in return. We just need to uh, use the Winged Lancers to finish off the rest of the army. No big ask. Also, I really should have finished off that Goblin Rock Lobber. It's annoying I, I didn't. Never mind. Uh, the right flank is in a little bit of trouble. The poor old Ice Guard are having to fend off the attack. Winged Lancers continuing their rampage. Breaking unit after unit after unit. Taking a bit of damage in return, but with 130 kills so far. It's pretty impressive. We need assistance on that right flank. And here it is. The cavalry has arrived, literally. That charge manages to rout the Greenskins on the right flank. Allowing it to stabilise the Ice Guard. Survive. And realising that all the Orc boys are dead, the Orc Arrow units also beat a hasty retreat. Unfortunately for them, they marched. So they're all going to die anyway. I don't even need to chase them down. I think we're going to need the replenishment. Because that, while that has exterminated both those armies, how much of a garrison do we think they've got? It's hard to know. Mistress of ice. I'm kind of tempted to 
pull back and get the replenishment. But I don't think that's too bad. Defy chaos. Onward, never falter. I do it for Kisla. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, we're gonna grow up grey. I, what I really want is Heart of Winter. I do like ice sheep. To keep chaos at bay. I mean, literally, make them slippy slidey. Go all over the place. Okay, we're dropping behind, but it's not too bad. You know, adequate, considering that they they start ahead and will continue ahead. It's Fire. fine. Upgrading Kislev again, which means hopefully we can get some more winged Hussars. The Ataman is doing fine. It gets a little bit of extra growth there. How much growth have we got? 135. It's it's fine. And with any luck, we'll have a gold mine in a minute. And one less green skin to worry about. A quiet burial, or we'll get a we'll get a patriarch. They're so annoying. I mean, okay, we'll we'll take you because why wouldn't I? Right, first things first. We need to. Oh, I can just take you. In that case, I'm just going to take you, take you, and occupy you. And now I've got a gold mine. Thank you. Oh God, you've got another army. Where the fuck did you get that from? Oh. God damn it. Right. Well, okay. We're going to get rid of you. I question their loyalty to kiss me. Yeah, exactly. Get the fuck out of here. Maiden of the Frost. Uh, we'll get Elsa. Because she's a... You know what I mean. Uh, do we want to merge the... Can we merge these guys? Why can't I merge these guys? Is there a reason I can't merge these guys? They're the same. Oh, there we go. One left. Okay, in you get, Elsa. Uh, good. You know what? I should have got rid of the fucking snow leopard. <laughs> fucking hate that snow leopard. Mm, more armor and missile block chance for 11 seconds is... I mean, seen as, seen as it it's basically mine. free. Seen as it's basically a freebie. Okay, we'll build that one. Why do they have such a... I mean, surely patriarchs are supposed to be like priests, right? So they're supposed to have powerful and dynamic voices. Why the fuck do these guys sound like they've got their balls in a vice? Right? Vice balls. And fuck you, because that snow leopard just continues to survive in spite of my best efforts. Uh, right, so yes, let's have a look at. Do we have anyone who wants to trade? You, you're almost dead. You are humbly received, friends. You're almost dead. The ice court is. You're not gonna. You're not really gonna help, are you? I you guess are. Give me some money in the meantime. <laughs> At least if I have some money, that's better. All right, we need to. How, how do you have so many armies, Azhag? I've, I've had to. I rolled over you repeatedly. How do you still have more stacks? Well, the the winds oh. of magic twist into a squall. Does it? The Raven God is up to something. Yeah, okay, go on. Back in your box, you creepy old bastard. Right, we've got the crystal cloak. Okay, we'll get right on that. Uh, Cracker Drack are dead. Gotrek and Felix have turned up. If only they weren't bloody useless. We are going right. We can get there in two turns. We're going to have to suffer the attrition, which I don't really want to. But it's for the best. Obviously, I don't want to lose the gold mine, but it doesn't isn't actually a gold mine at the moment. 
So it's it's less vital. Uh, you're also upgrading, which is fine. We'll upgrade you. This doesn't actually give us more supporters. So it's less useful. It does give us more patriarchs. Um what okay, what do you what what do patriarchs do? You can hinder replenishment, which is vaguely useless, and you can damage a building, which is the most useless skill. I mean Okay, so currently Kislev have two agents, one of which is severely limited, because you can only do it through tech, can't you? There's no buildings that increase the number of ice witches, or is there? I was wrong. Frost Maiden. There we go. Um, but still, so you've got a Frost Maiden, but they, they still take like multiple turns to recruit. And your only other agent is, apart from replenishment, completely fucking useless. <laughs> Like, the Patriarchs are fucking... So why... Why did they not give Kislev a melee hero? Someone who could assault garrisons, assault armies, and be, you know, like your, your melee hero boy in your army. Surely that would make far more sense than just giving you another melee general. I mean, I know he's kind of a shooty melee general, but still, he is... You know, technically you've got, you've got the melee general, and then... I'm, and I know the ice wit again takes turns to recruit the frozen but kingdom welcomes just just an odd choice personally i think i would have much preferred another melee hero but there we go right are you on the move you're not on the move lovely all right let's go and take this out uh the bop. Shield of the old world. indeed the right, I'll occupy grows. you <sighs> okay, I need to get rid of someone so I can get vice balls in here. <laughs> Fucking vice balls. Okay, well, I'll... Uh... Yeah, go on. We'll pop you in here because you do replenish troops, which means we'll be far quicker, up and ready to go. Which is kind of what we want. Uh, meanwhile, I'll get Death Frost. My rule grows because, absolutely. you know, picking off enemy characters is a bit of a blind spot for us at the moment. Because we've only got Vice Balls, and the only thing he can do is annoy people to death. Which, in fairness, he manages to do. Um, but, and I know he's kind of got melee stats, but his initial melee stats are absolute ass. So the only thing he's really good at is, like, being... Well, he can, he can be a bit of a punching bag. Yeah, he's probably the, the probably the best thing he's doing is he's, he's the be, no the thing he's good at is effectively being a bit of a punching bag. He sits there, he takes the hits so that you know, you can you can then kill the enemy army and rout their heroes with any luck. But he's not he's not even like a goblin big boss. He's not even like an assassin character. He's just just kind of a a small bag of hit points with a heal. And, of course, a really annoying voice. Uh, what have we got? We need a frozen outpost. I think that's probably what's her face. Oh, and the Golden Knights. The Golden Knight takes notice. The Golden Knights is Kislev's living symbol of unification between church and state. The greatest living warrior in Kislevite solidarity, whose sacred duty is to ensure the peace and sanctity of Kislev's borders, regardless of politics or bureaucracy. The current incumbent would be a powerful ally. Indeed, the daughter of a notable fallen companion of Boris Ursus himself and a warrior of grim determination. Nariska Lacia, who has taken notice of those who display martial supremacy in the motherland's eternal fight. For the motherland. March with I'm the bloody queen, mate. Oh god, you got so much stuff. Alright. We're just gonna we're gonna run over here so we can we can defend this. We you know, we are marching, but considering we just curb stomped Azhag and his and his army, I think we're probably fine. Uh, we will get the mark. Wait, no. More growth? This is 10 growth, and it also gives us a little bit of money. It's not much, but I'll take it. I don't give a fucking shit. Right, what we want is these lads, winged lancers. So we're going to build this building. And we're going to build... Right, we don't need that one. That's fine. 
what gives us the Griffin Legion? Oh, there. Okay, we need the Royal Barracks as well. Oh, alternatively. If we build this. Yeah, but I really want... I really want the Winged Lancers, so... And you've got a war, of course, obviously. Which means that we're going to have to fight double. At least he didn't have double armies to st Can you imagine if he had double armies and I had one stack? That would have been a fucking nightmare. That would have been catastrophic. <sighs> oh, but he does have a lava rat and rock spider, so, you know, swings and roundabouts. So here is an interesting trick. That you can use. So, did you know that you can move the reinforcement marker? Now, this reinforcement marker was initially over here. It was going to come in in about two minutes, which is about the same time as the enemy reinforcements came in. I moved it over here, which meant it was going to take a little bit longer to come in. What that means is that I could actually move it back over there to get the reinforcements instantly, but by moving it over here and making it take more time, it means I can kind of save the reinforcements rather than coming in at the same time as the enemy reinforcements and getting blocked. It's just, you know, blattoed. I could move over here, let the countdown run down. As soon as I want them over there, I can just move the marker back over there, at which point they enter the battlefield. Which is neat, isn't it? Which means you'll see our reinforcements coming in from here when I've decided these guys are far enough away. Uh, so the enemy blob is advancing. I was trying to catch them. I should have used the I should have used ice sheet on them. Never mind. As it happens, we use whatever the fuck this is. Biting wind, is it? And this actually does a right number. It doesn't kill many, but it did quite a devastating amount of damage on all of those units. So here come our reinforcements. They've actually arrived at the rear there. I was hoping to bring them up and attack the enemy at the same time, but the timing was just a little bit off. So we have the upper hands, or we have the high ground anyway. So we can rain fire down little heads. Now we don't have to be having all the nasty skulkers, because these guys live up to their name. They are awful to deal with. If they're in combat for 15 seconds, they get an additional 12 melee attack and 40% armor-piercing weapon damage, which actually makes them really nasty. Genuinely really nasty. I mean, they're quite fragile, but they're very cheap, very effective. We've managed to lock down the uh, Lava Arachnorok Spider, at least momentarily. Why does would the wood that they build that not burn them? No? Okay. I'm just thinking, like, you, you build a wooden platform and a Lava Arachnorok Spider, would that not set the platform on fire? No? Oh, well. Either way, the Winged Lancers are doing what they do best. They do charge into some nasty Skulkers. Fortunately, there's not many of them. They do have that nasty Smoke Bomb, which does reduce charge speed and speed. It doesn't reduce charge bonus, so I'm assuming that they should you know, keep that, I think. But it does slow down their charge and makes it less impactful. Our right flank is under pressure. But we really need to deal with the units on the left flank, particularly that Lava Arachnorok Spider. They are very, very tanky. We do have the Boy de Vere's Brawlers, the Streltsy, unleashing. What do they do? Do they do they do anything special? Do they just... Do they have anything special? I genuinely don't know. Like, their weapon strength seems similar. They don't really have more abilities. The stats are basically the same. Oh, they've got spell... Is it because they've got spell resistance? Is that it? Oh, what do you fucking do? Oh, what will I do with 15% spell resistance? That'll make all the fucking difference. Oh, well, never mind. Um, <laughs> the important thing is the Ratnorok Spider is down. I'm continuing to hit them with magic. The old Winged Lancers hunting down the Orc Arrow Boys. 207 kills on them so far. Very, very nice. Yeah, that right flank is a little bit surrounded. They're doing okay. They're holding the line. And Azhag himself... I don't know what Azhag's doing, actually. He's just kind of sitting here. He cast a few spells at me. 
but he doesn't didn't want to come any closer. Okay, I guess. I mean, it's fine. I'm not that bothered. It just just felt weird. Uh, the reinforcements, of course, they are the garrison reinforcements, which means I don't actually care what happens to them. They they kept some of the units busy, which is fine. That's pretty much all I could ask for. Okay, the left flank has been defeated, which means we can concentrate on our right flank now. Just mopping up a few survivors, and army losses should be taking effect. Yeah, even Ashag is running away as well. Uh, we'll send Ice Kitty to go and try and maul him. He's got a long way to run. He's going to have to run all the way over here to get away, because obviously our reinforcements are guarding this exit, which means he's going to have to run a long way. Which means maybe Kitty can kill him by the time he gets over there. We'll send the Wing Lancers to go and hunt down as many units as well. As many units as possible, even, as well. Just to make sure we don't have as much to fight later. Oof. Thank goodness we've got the old Patriarch. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take the money, because then I can probably build one of the special buildings. I wonder if any of them have extra growth. Oh, the Golden Light takes notice. I believe it should be. What's the next thing on? Ensure the Royal Barracks. Okay, I need a Royal Barracks. What the fuck's a Royal Barracks? Is that a Royal Barracks? Nope, nope, not that one. Uh, is this a Royal Barracks? Nope, nope. What the fuck's a Royal Barracks then? Royal Chapter House, Royal Barracks. That one. Uh, bugger. Um, it's going to be my simple one makes more sense. The more growth we have, the better. Right. You're going to do the only thing you're good at. Growth. Meanwhile, that's right. Rub my boo-boos. God damn it. Uh, we'll grab that one. And... What does this one do? Vigor per second? This one's the heal, isn't it? And to be honest, the heal is, is definitely the best one. So we'll grab that one. Did like biting winds. So we'll grab biting winds. Me. Oh, I mean, as much as I don't like the kitties, mind you. We don't have any of those spells, though. But it does just give a general cooldown reduction. So we should probably, probably grab that one. Uh, that one's kind of meh. Indomitable Spirit is quite nice when you have Ice Guard. Speed is, I mean, who the fuck cares about speed? Khan Queen is pretty good. And then Shield of Faith is nice. My rule grows absolute. I right, come here, you little shit. The shield of the old world. Get the fuck out of my face. Uh, I will take the replenishment because I think I need it. Because we're going to have to kill you before you recruit more stuff. I really hope Ungrim's going to appreciate this. Welcome to my throng. You better fucking appreciate I'm really, I'm doing your hard work for you here. I hope you know. Uh, they're quite nice, but I think I'm going to hold off. Oh, it does not. You're fine. You're all right. Chill out. Right. Okay, that's fine. Uh, ooh, when can we get the gold? Is it? Can we get the gold mine immediately? We can get the gold mine immediately, and it gives how much money? Six hundred money. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello. Yeah. I mean, you know. Uh, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Church is nice, isn't it? Love a church, but I'm going to knock it down and build a gold mine instead. What does that say about me, eh? Uh, Diplomatic relations with Kislev. I mean, it's fine. All of this is fine. I'm kind of tempted to get this just because being able to summon a snow leopard. Snow leopards in your army, not really that useful. Being able to summon a snow leopard, on the other hand, pretty good. But oh, I really want a heart of winter. It is mine. Heart of winter, very very useful. 
Okay, we'll get freezing winds. And you know what? I'm gonna get the replenished troop because the sooner our army is is refilled, the better. Ideally, I need to upgrade the market. We need to get the royal barracks as quickly as possible, but that's going to be the problem. Is the royal barracks is well? No, it does give us the Griffin Legion, doesn't it? Who effectively are better winged lancers. So maybe I do want it. Definitely want to upgrade the markets because that will just generally give me more money and we'll get I'll get more growth as well. Where have you gone? My decree. Oh no! Oh no! What no! Ungrim's gonna beat me to it! Can I reach it? I can reach it. Fuck, thank god for that. Phew. Victory by blade and Phew. Mistress of ice. Thought he was gonna beat me to it. It's alright, we're fine. There we go, Ungrim. I've done it. I've got Frostfang as well. So, yay me. Now, the only slight issue is Lemia lives next to us now. Bad sleep wanes and more sleep waxes. Of course, I was expecting you. Uh, you don't like each other. It's going to be really rough. Can we just not? Can we Can we just not? Could we just not? Could we, could, could we just... Oh, could we just not? Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I need defenses here, basically. I need like a little garrison to hold the line, just on the off chance. It should be fine, but just on the off chance. Plus, we've probably got a lot of nasty stuff going on over here at the moment, which I probably need to sort out. It does, Costaltin looks like he's having a bit of trouble, so I, he's having some sexy trouble. Uh, so I probably need to run over there and uh, save him from the angry dildos. It is, it is Slanesha. They are very fucking angry dildos. Like, they are super, super aggressive. Need to lock that shit down. Um, so I might, like, recruit another army here in the meantime, just because I don't trust, uh, don't trust the vampires. Greetings. You no doubt have a request, Ali. Sure enough. Can have a trade agreement. And then with any luck, we can get, like, a non-aggression pact, maybe, like, a military alliance. You know, I did just deal with your biggest threat, so... What can I say except you're welcome? I'm tempted to save the money. How much money? Uh, we've got three turns for more growth. Could upgrade this one. I, I do want some more winged lancers. Um, but I guess we'll upgrade you. And we've got another, another lad who we are going to put... Oh, no, it's a thing. Uh, income from all buildings. Yes, that one. Obviously. Like, more income from our main settlement. Yes, please. 2,000 monies a turn. That is... I can definitely now afford a thingy magic. Right, how are we doing here? Okay, you know what? We seem to be winning this. Mind you, at this rate, Castalton's actually going to die before the election. But, uh, there we go. guess money. I, I like the idea of the movement reduction, but the problem is that it only takes effect if they start their turn in your territory, which means that most of the time it'll affect them for one turn potentially, and at the same time, as soon as you lose a settlement. So if they come in and like attack a settlement, don't declare war on me. Oh, you want a non-aggression pact. I'm going to say no. Mind you, you do have some you do have some gems down there, don't you? I mean, look, I'm not saying that I want to kill you. But it is very tempting. Sorry, what was that? Recruit a character through the ice core. I mean, I could do that. Where are you going? Mostly grows. I can tell. You're all the dripping fangs bargain, who are... But I... I don't... Where are you? <laughs> uh, where are you going? Okay, I'm just going to ignore you. I'm going to... No, I'm not going to recruit anyone because I don't have any money. I've just blown it all. Blown it all on defences. But at least look at all this. Oh, it's all, it's all coming together. So that's exciting. 
That's nice. Uh, yeah, I really need to, I need to really get over there and really fucking help Castelton. He's having a terrible fucking time. He's not going to live. He's going to die. I'm not super worried. He's not that. I mean, he's basically a greasy, greasy haired hobo. Our common cause shall benefit the world. Yes. I mean, if you're going to give me money for it, then sure. I'm not sure what you're getting out of it. Why... Why are you here? You realise this isn't doing you any good, right? You know you're dying from, from attrition. So... I'm somewhat nonplussed. Golden touch. Uh, but if we recruit him... He doesn't work, I think. So instead we'll get... Uh, this one? Darius? He's got a big old axe, isn't he? A big old axe. What I like is that they may look like middle-aged reactionary landowners, but the Drazina fight with considerable skill when their way of life is under threat, i.e. when rent control is being suggested. That's right, they're landlords. I mean, just get some Arab boys, I guess. It's for the best. I really want to want to swing past and grab some of these if possible. How much money do we? Hang on. How much money would I have if I did this? Could I upgrade it? I could. Right. Well, in that case, you can just just wait, wait a turn. You know what? Get some of the spear boys. They were actually pretty legit. I'm in favour of them. I'm not in favour of Dryker. She is an angry bush, and also, I don't like being her neighbour. Because I don't trust her. She's a Welcome to pain my in the ass. Okay, you like me, which is great. What about quick deals? General! I just don't trust Greetings. you. I'm gonna have a trade agreement with you. Part compact, then. Who calls? That might get me a trade agreement with like Xiao Ming, Miao Ying. That would be quite nice. What do we need? Uh let's go for an ice 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 baby. Right, there is a slight issue here in that uh, Prague has just been torched. I suggest it's probably by the Skaven. The ice court dominates. Yeah! To acknowledge it, that's right. That's right. Suck it up. Okay. We... Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. Okay, good. Crown of Commands. Fine. Right, we need to, we need to get over here and uh, save ice. Prague. Well, retake it anyway. This does make me generally very fuck me. <laughs> Castelton's doing so badly. And then you're you're wandering back. Okay, cool. Well, um, nice of you to come and visit. I I hope you enjoyed walking around. And um, please don't come back. Thanks. Uh, I want to. I want to recruit. I want to create some more wing lancers, but uh, battler, I guess. Our common cause shall benefit. Ye he want a defensive alliance? Mm, no. <laughs> mm -mm. No, I've got I've got ratty problems, and after ratty problems, I've probably got chaos problems. My rule, my decision. Okay, there's there's definitely there's definitely people home, but yeah. Um. Well, I I do need Prague, so yes, I will declare war. And uh, Throt is in attendance. What's it? Oh, it's going to be the fucking under. It's going to be that Skaven city again, isn't it? Oh, I hate that city so much. I hate that city so much. It makes me sad. Okay, well, we're going to have to. We're going to have to retake Prague. So we've got to clean out the ratties underneath. Fortunately, it's mostly trash. Apart from Throt and Gorich, it's just clan rats and Skaven slaves. So. Not, not too much to deal with. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you 
in the next episode.